Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Johanna, and for those of you who are new here, welcome. And for those of you who are returning, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be setting up the final week of November 2020 in my Skinny Classic Happy Journal, and if that is of interest to you, please stay tuned. <music> All right, so what I like to do is in this beginning part, I will do uh, just a quick shout out and thank you to everyone who commented last week, and then we'll go right into the planning. I will put timestamps in both the pinned comment as well as in the description box. So what I've done just to show you is, this is where I'm doing my journaling. I'm gonna finish this up here. It is uh, currently Friday the 20th. And then I've got this entire back page for the rest of Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and if I have room, some summary. Um, but I did the thank yous on this little flip out and I, I kinda like the look of that. All right, so this is the comments from the November 14th uh, Nietzsche Saturday video. Thank you so much, Annette and Miss Sorelli. Lois Lane, Lois Lane, gotta remember, it's Lois, like Lois Lane, so thank you so much, my dear, as well as explaining how to say it, because I was a bit confused. Uh, thank you, Dee Dee Bean, thank you, the Tanyas, Tanya with an O, and the Tanya with an A, Tanya L, Tanya K. Thank you, Luann, thank you, Tiffany, T thank you, Kimberly M. Thank you, Lee Love, Colleen from New Jersey. Thank you, my dear. Thank you, Blue Bonnet. Thank you, Miss D. Thank you, Miss Andy. Hope you had a wonderful birthday. It was her birthday last week, Saturday. And I don't know if the day was good, but the food that she posted on Instagram looked amazing. Thank you, um, Bunny, and thank you, Kathleen and TJ. As always, um, Bucky is just sitting off to the side, just making sure I don't get into too much trouble. So thank you guys so much for all of the lovely comments. All the various dishes you guys had listed sounded amazing. I, I am very thankful that you shared all that information with me. All right, guys, guess what time it is? Guess what time it is? It is Nietzsche Saturday, where every Saturday I join Jasmine and Miranda here in the Skinny Classic. Happy Nietzsche, happy bullet journal, happy journal, again, whatever you wanna call it. And we just do a weekly layout. So let me, actually, I don't need any of this for what we're going to do. But let me get a piece of paper and I'll be right back. All right, so what I've done is I've taken that same classic size we have been using, but I've also taken this. I did cut this out earlier in the month. I love the way that looks, and this is on the back side. I don't know if I'm going to use it, but I wanted to take it out just in case. Now, I brought these out because these are the junk journals I had ordered, um, and they came all the way from France. But what I did was take out all of the bits and bobs in here here uh, just because I thought I'd start playing with this one. Not sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but that's why I took everything out here that I could that wasn't glued down. And what I did was I put it in here. Now if that looks familiar, that is the cover that I have been using. But I did go into my stash and take out this one. And I don't know if the glare is insane. Um, and this is one I was actually going to sell and I know that because there, there's a bow on it. I don't typically do that for my own. But I thought this would get me through both December and January. And then on the inside, that's what that looks like. Again, this is the one that I'm using. My shop is on vacation mode and will remain so for the end of the year. I do have some thoughts on what I'm going to be doing next year, but please stay tuned and thank you for your patience. Now this is where I put all of the bits and bobs and you can tell there are tons of stuff in here. And Bucky's gonna go back on his perch. I don't wanna knock him down, but I did want to use some of this stuff for this week just because it's super cute, but also to just sort of commemorate that I got this lovely stuff. And there's a lot. All right, guys, so I pulled some of the uh, bits and bobs that she had included with those junk journals and the ephemery pack, and that's 
these things here, so I'll put them to the side. I don't know that I'm gonna use them all, but I just, I pulled some that are very similar in coloring. I also pulled out some of the washi from this set. That's not everything, but again, I thought the colors would go well with the things that I had pulled. And I'm going to fold this over. like that. Again, not sure if we're going to use this, but at least we have some material. And I wanna line that up a little better. Now I'm not going to be decorating specifically for Thanksgiving, although this will encompass Thanksgiving, but I do think um, the colors will definitely give you um, the, the aspect of warmth, so I kind of like that. I thought this might make an interesting journaling spot. Or maybe even a nice place for the thank yous next week. Because, yeah, it's not perforated. So if we fold that in and of itself, I think we'll start on this back page first, obviously. And I was able to get some more of these and I didn't realize they had refills available. So I did order a four pack of this from Amazon as well as the refills. Now of the adhesive tapes on the thing, it isn't my favorite, but it was a really good price. And it really isn't so much that it doesn't stick very well, because it sticks pretty good when it sticks. Because sometimes I find that it comes off exactly the way it should, and then sometimes I find that it's very difficult to come off the roll, and I don't know what the difference is. Um, so yeah, I, I ordered some just because it, I, I think a four pack of this was like $7. And, oh no, I wanted that a little bit lower when I was talking and got distracted. Um, and then the refills, I think, was like another $12, but that will last me for quite some time. So I thought, I thought it was worthwhile compared to some of the others um, that I was looking at that was like almost eight or nine dollars for just one. And I'm just going to fold this over. And so I can list the thank yous here, but then the reason I, I did the folding is so that I could actually still use this as functional journaling space, uh, journaling space. Don't know where my words are today. This is a sticker. I kind of like the vellum. Because what does that look like underneath? That's nice, but I don't want that underneath it. Although that might be interesting to tuck that in. Oh, yeah. And I'm not going to tuck anything in it in and of itself but because part of it's going to be glued down. It'll hold that in place because if I were going to actually tuck in something in here, I would have used glue. Um, the thing when you're using double sided tape and then using this as a sort of a tuck spot or uh, a pocket, if you use tape, it can eventually start to lift and then whatever you're tucking in will stick. Uh, so if, if that's the case and the reason for you to put it together, then you're definitely going to want to use glue. It just, it, it won't do that. It won't lift. And even if it does, the glue will be dried and it won't be sticky or tacky. I think we're going to leave that for now and then work on this because this, I think we're going to do our weekly um, overview. I seriously don't know what's, where my words are. <laughs> It's, it's a little weird. It's Friday after work. 
I'm not particularly tired. My knee is feeling a lot better. I just, I, I feel really scattered all of a sudden. And I think we have one of these. Is that the only one? Yeah, that must be the only one. So we're going to use that as a template. And I think we'll mark out our space. Oh, but my, my dots don't line up. Why wouldn't they line up? It's the same paper. Yeah, they don't actually line up. <laughs> That's strange. Okay, so. And the reason I'm not decorating first is because I'm adding in the horoscope. I do want more space than I usually was giving myself. I don't know if that spacing is right. All right, so you guys know um, when I'm doing freehand lines, I do prefer to do it in multiples of three, then it looks intentional, and then I don't have to worry about making it look super straight. And I think I will add some washi. I think the problem with this is I didn't even start until maybe a whole, what, two rows, and then I did two widths worth of washi. Uh, so we'll do, and I, I don't know if this is directional. So we can do this closer to the edge. I'm also thinking about doing my horoscopes in a different way other than with the daily meals, but I don't know. I kind of like looking at it, my, my daily horoscope. I don't factor it into my day or anything. And I don't know if it's because the site that I'm using isn't that great. I mean, really, I just picked the first one that was free off of the, <laughs> the app store. So maybe that could be part of it. See, some of this is directional. We'll just leave it. I don't have really thin washi tape. Oh, guys, I'm, I'm really struggling today. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm gonna put a strip of this down. This is my favorite and it's nearly done, but that's okay. I'm gonna see if I can get a long strip. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to get little pieces of strips then. And maybe we can do a long strip on the other page. Even mad I just I feel a bit lost I don't know why well and I have stubbornness issues so I'm, I'm going <laughs> I'm, I'm going to get this 
even if it just ramps up my annoyance levels. Oh my God. What does this even mean? My goodness. Okay, so that gets back under there. That looks like a hot mess if I've ever seen a hot mess and <laughs> you guys know. I'm the queen of hot mess. Well, well, at least you know you're in the right place. And then we'll put this one down. Maybe we'll do it over here. And that's all kinds of crooked. I think I can fix it down here because that's where it's actually crooked. A little better. Okay, so it goes like that. And that's the week. This is the journaling section. I do like this one. We can hide it. Uh, I want to say this is a sticker. Yeah. So let's put that one down there. I like the coupon action, but I also like seeing writing on a page. like that. We're definitely getting some fall vibes. This is some chili pepper. I think this is a sticker. It feels like a sticker. Let's put this, oh, this might be a sticker too. It's definitely leaning more junk journalish this week. Not gonna lie, kind of like it. Even this little fiasco is kind of growing on me because we can journal here. We can journal back here. This will be for thank yous, or I mean, honestly, we could journal there as well. I don't want to waste stickers for journaling and I think this is a sticker this one I don't I don't know and I because it was sent to me I don't know until I start poking at an edge This one definitely separates. So I don't want to waste that as a journaling spot. This is nice. But again, I mean, I want it to be cute, but I need it to be functional. No, I think we'll leave that as is. I don't know what I'm going to be doing with this. Because this might actually be a nice way to end the month. And so let's do a little bit of a collaging on here. I'm gonna stick. No, I definitely like 
that more than I like that. I'm gonna have to sacrifice something. So this will go down here and still usable. There was another one of these, although that's kind of big. Maybe we'll do something like this. That's upside down, but that isn't. Guys, the struggle is real today. I think that's all of the bits and bobs. Oh no, we've got this one. dates down and the days. Let me look for a sticker book and I'll be right back. Okay, so I put down the day stickers that I ordered from Rena and Crystal Shop, Lux Clever Crafts. I'll put them down. The dates, as usual, are from this sticker book. And then this was just an off cut that I had um, in my stash, so I'm gonna put this in here. Not sure what I'm gonna use it for yet, but I did want to have something in there to remind me to use it. And then I pulled out Dream Seeker, and I wanna say Miss Val sent this to me. I'm pretty sure it was Miss Val, it might have been Kelly. I was trying to mark the books, but I didn't. But this is, was definitely gifted to me. But what I want to do on this side is find either stickers or one big sticker so that I can do a summary for the month. I think those long ones might be the best bet. Although I kind of like the feeling one there, because I could do a few. Let's see. Well, I like these two colors together. sort of navy and that orange plus those flowers look really good against that as well so that's good so now we just need the function I think doing the feeling boxes might be the way yeah because I do want to write some So let's put some of these down. And then maybe one here. towards the, the blues. Let's go for this one. Down here. And when I do the after the pen for the month, um, I'll show you how I, I use this. And this one, I will cut. And then maybe we can put something right there. Well, 
Most of the things in here are all vertical. There's one. I love this. Oh, that actually works and the color works. Or love more. That one says love this. All right, so we've got that down. And this will be facing each other and that works. And then I need to get the stickers from Christy so that I can mark Monday. And I think we'll do the, the white background. This is from my friend Christy of Christy Marie Designs. I did order this one with the white background. She did send me the one with the transparent background and I'm loving and using both. Um, I definitely need to order more from her and from the other ladies because uh, I use quite a bit of it. I mean, one set a week from each of them. Um, I will be doing the color wash, but maybe, maybe we can add some of these. I think this page, I wanna say <laughs> it was good. Maybe we'll do a flower because it's transparent. Okay, so that one's done. And maybe we can layer on top of these stickers here. Although, okay, not gonna lie, that looks amazing to me. Just do it. Yeah, I love how that looks. And then we can put one of these other ones at the top here. Loving that the colors are going. I think that's all we need for that. And I wonder Let's just put this one down. Because I don't want to take up space from Sunday. And I'll cut this, and then maybe we can put that at the top there. To cut off a little bit, but definitely workable. I like how that looks, guys. Not gonna lie. I don't want to cut the page, but there's a little, <laughs> there's a little piece hanging off. I want to set myself up so that I am just ready to go on Monday and then I'll write for however and then I'll mark in Tuesday that's for meals and horoscope that's for more journaling and possibly thank yous and then this will be the last page of the month and this will be the summary of the month. Let me put this back on the, oh no, we need to, we need to put our color wash down. Cause that pretty much is what ties all of the month of November together is putting the color wash on the page. We don't do anything there, but we will do on here. And we'll 
I'll do on this one as well. Oh, and that was Tombow 942, and this is Tombow 850. I kind of like the slight difference. Oh. <laughs> All right, so let me go ahead and put this back on the discs and I'll bring you guys back. Okay guys, so this week actually was really a struggle for me, not gonna lie. And I don't know if it's because I couldn't see it, uh, that I didn't really have a plan. I knew that I wanted to use the bits and bobs that I got in my happy mail, but I was, I was really actually struggling with confidence. I know it sounds weird, but I've been actually sitting here for the last 15 minutes just thinking about why was this one so hard? Because to be honest, I think it looks fantastic. <laughs> I think it looks amazing actually. But it just, I don't know, because sometimes when my spreads go wrong, then I just sort of lean into it and let it go wrong. But I, I, I thought there, there was a good base and then I'm like, well, no, but what, what are you doing? What, what is this for? I mean, it's, it's nice if it's cute, but if you're gonna use it as a journal, then where are you writing? And, and I just, it really, really was a struggle for me. But I, <laughs> I love looking at it now. Oh, guys. I'm gonna enjoy coming in here and if I need to move it around so that there's more journaling space or this is actually what I think it might be for, which is the thank yous for next week. I mean, I can always add stuff in here, which I love. This one, I'm not even sure what I'm gonna write on here, but I do want to write on here. In fact, I might journal just specifically about the junk journaling stuff that I picked up, but I love that you can see the writing that's on the page. These really go together. This actually still goes together. It wasn't my intention, and I didn't know until I'm, I'm looking at it right now, but I, I love that. I love that it's such diverse material, and yet it still works. Now, this doesn't actually really go with the rest of the month, but this is ending the month, and so maybe if I can be clever, I can try to make December which we'll be looking at this, um, kind of go with this one here. In fact, I did plan to do um, more blues and cool tones in December, so I might actually be able to pull it off. Um, I'm not making any promises, because this week was, was rough, guys, not gonna lie. <laughs> and even with some editing of some of the dead space and just frustration on my part, yeah. <laughs> But I will be doing an after the pen, uh, I think just actually right after this. No, actually, I, I want to see what I'm going to do with this. So I'll do an after the pen on Sunday to show you guys how this week uh, panned out. And then the final after the pen for the month will be to do just a flip through of November and then show you what I ended up using all of these different things for. And it definitely gives me more junk journal vibes because of things like this. Uh, before I was decorating sort of in a junk journal, traveler's notebook kind of style, but whatever the writing on the page was, that's all I had. But I definitely added a little bit more, I don't even want to say personality, but I just, I did end up using more things to give me a different look. Oh, and I'm back to struggling again. <laughs> Maybe it's just my mouth. Maybe my mouth is broken and, and that's what the problem is. <laughs> but actually, I'd love to know what you guys think of this spread. We are heading into Thanksgiving here in the U.S. So for all of those of you who celebrate it, I hope you have a wonderful and relaxing day. I know this year might be very different for many of you who can't celebrate with family. Just know that you are loved and you are valued. 
For those of you who don't celebrate Thanksgiving, either because uh, you don't or you are one of our international friends, I hope you have an amazing Thursday the 26th. Uh, I, I am so thankful for all of you guys and I am sorry for all of the struggling going on in this video, but not gonna lie, I'm gonna sit here for a little while tonight and just look at it because it's just so pretty to me. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's it for me for now. And as always, aloha.